Hello and welcome to Best Priced Funerals. Today, we're going to talk about a topic that's often overlooked, but can make a significant difference in your funeral planning understanding the options for a graveside service and what to expect. Yes, you heard it right. Just like you would compare prices for a car, a house, or even groceries, it's equally important to understand and navigate the complex process of planning a graveside service. Why, you ask? Well, the answer is simple, it can save you from unnecessary stress and confusion. Now, we understand that discussing funerals can be a sensitive topic. But remember, planning ahead can not only save you money but also relieve your loved ones of unnecessary stress during an already difficult time. The first thing to understand is what a graveside service is. A graveside service is generally a shorter version of a funeral service that's held at the site of the burial. Graveside services usually take place after the casket is already in place, ready to be lowered. If there is no burial and the deceased was cremated, a graveside service takes place next to the mausoleum or place of internment. Now let's talk about traditional graveside services. A traditional graveside service is usually short and most families will have held a memorial service prior. The family might request special readings by a clergy or from a friend or family member. The service usually lasts for about 20 minutes. Next, let's discuss memorial graveside services. A memorial graveside service can be the only remembrance event, or it can take place before a memorial to be held some time later. In non-traditional school of thought, a graveside service could also be used to describe a ceremony involving the scattering of ashes, whether on land or water. Now let's move on to military honors at graveside services. Military funeral honors include traditions intended to express deep gratitude for those who have served our nation. These honors include the playing of taps, the folding and presentation of the U.S. flag, and a detail of uniformed military personnel. Finally, let's talk about alternative locations for gravesite services. While most funerals or memorial services take place in a funeral home, church, or religious building, there are no rules that this has to be the case. There are so many ways to honor someone's life when planning a memorial service. For instance, many people host a graveside service after a traditional funeral but you don't actually need to have both if you don't want to. Hosting a graveside service is a way to say final goodbyes at the final resting place. That's all for today's episode on Best Priced Funerals. We hope this information was helpful and encourages you to understand and navigate the complex process of planning a graveside service. Remember, it's not just about saving money but also about ensuring that your final journey is carried out according to your wishes without causing stress to your loved ones. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more informative videos on how to plan affordable funerals. Please like and subscribe to our channel.